आई चिल्डन सो थैंकफुल टू यू दैट एवरी वीक वीक आफ्टर वीक यू आर रेडी टू हियर माय स्टोरी थैंक यू फॉर लिसनिंग नाउ लेट्स प्रे dear jesus thank you lord for all the blessings you have poured upon each one of us as these children are going to listen the story about remembering jesus help them to understand and help them to live closer to you lord we are sinners for your sins and shortcomings be with all the children give them good health and strength and happiness and wisdom from above be with their parents too lord once again i'm submitting all of us into that care and keeping this be mercy i ask in jesus name amen okay today's story The title of the story is Remembering Jesus. Remembering Jesus. Long long time ago. You know, all the people they want to go to Jerusalem. You know for what reason? They want to participate in Passover feast even Jesus and his disciples they were also walking and along with the people and you know when these disciples they were thinking why do you have to go to Jerusalem and Jesus said we are going to participate the passover feast so where can we have they asked so jesus he called two of his disciples and he told them you go ahead early and go into the city of jerusalem walk to the city of Jerusalem before us and you will find a man carrying water in a pot you know and wherever he where he stops till then you go there and you ask the owner where can we have this feast then he will the one I will show you a big hall in the upstairs so his two disciples they walked they went to city of Jerusalem then they found a man carrying water in a pitcher pot and they still followed him and he stopped in one house and they also stopped and whatever jesus told them to do they did to the owner they told to the owner you know the owner he showed a big hall in the upstairs so they walked there by the time jesus and the rest of the disciples they also went up the you know they they arranged basins and water in it and the towels you know and they walked and walked they wore sandals the feet was full of um, dust filled with the dust and they were thinking who's going to wash 
our feet. So they were thinking of that and they were thinking, why should I wash? I can wash everybody's feet and I'm not going to wash. I can't do that. It's an insult for me. You know, Saturn, he put wrong thoughts in the minds of disciples. So now, Jesus knew what his disciples were thinking. So immediately, you know, he took this and water in it and he started washing the feet of disciples. You know, first, whom did he watch? Judas. Judas, he did not know Jesus. But you know, Jesus loved Judas. So he took the basin filled with water and took the towel and he started washing his feet. Then he started washing each other disciples. He watched. And then one after the other he washed. Jesus, he was very, very humble person. He doesn't care whatever the disciples. Thinking of Jesus, you know, Jesus, he wants to teach the disciples. Okay, they arranged a table and they have arranged everything, table and few chairs around the table. Okay, then Then you know, he took bread and he made it to pieces. Then he said, when he was washing the feet of other disciples, they were ashamed because Jesus, the Son of God, Washing the feet of disciples. So they were ashamed to see that. Then even then, they were thinking, we should have done that. They felt in their minds. They were thinking wrong way. Every disciple, they were thinking that they were very important person. Then when Jesus was washing others' feet, before that, they were thinking they must have forgotten some helper to wash our feet. Again. So that is not there. Jesus himself, he washed everybody's feet. That night, in the upstairs room, Jesus also took some bread and broke it into pieces. And you know, he gave a piece of bread to each disciple. Then Jesus was about to die. On the cross, 
When they ate the bread, they were to think of his body hanging on the cross. Next, Jesus gave them grape juice to drink. When they drank this juice, they were to think Jesus bleeding on the cross. So each time they had to remember Jesus. Though Jesus knew that Judas was going to betray him, he still gave Judas the bread and even grape juice to drink. This eating of the bread and drinking of the juice, grape juice, is called the Lord's Supper. It is a special time to remember that Jesus died for us. A time to remember he is coming again. Not only his death, but even we have to remember that he is coming back. Won't you love and obey him so you will be ready for his coming? Remember Jesus, love one another as I have loved you. That's the Jesus words. So, boys and girls, when you love, obey his word, it shows that you are loving others. You can remember Jesus in every activity. Whatever he showed to us to do, we have to follow that. So the Bible says, this is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. John 15th chapter 12 words. Though Judas did not love Jesus, but Jesus, what he did? He loved him. First, he washed his feet. He gave bread. And even grape juice for him. So, though Judas betrayed him, but still Jesus loved him. So also, we have to love one another. That is the thing Jesus showed to us when he was on this earth. The moral of the story is Jesus wants us to remember his great love for us. So he loved so much every person in this world. So what are we doing? We know a lot of stories. Every week after week we are learning the stories. But are we loving Jesus? Are we obeying his commandments? What was his commandment? Love one another as I have loved you. So, children, love. Love is more important. Love to each other. And Jesus, he sees every action, every deed, what we are doing. So when we love each other, Jesus even loves us. Thank you for listening to the story. Again, we'll meet next week. Till then, God be with us. God bless you all. Now we are going to hear a song.
purify my heart let me be as gold and precious silver purify my heart let me be as gold pure gold refiner's fire my heart's one desire is to be holy set apart for you Lord I choose to be holy set apart for you my master ready to do your will purify my heart cleanse me to be holy set apart for you my master ready to do your will refine us my heart's one desire is to be holy set apart for you lord i choose to be holy set apart for you my master ready to do your Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for all your blessings upon us. We thank you, dear Father, for the wonderful lessons that you teach us from the Bible. We pray that you would help us know who you are and reverence you. We pray that you would help us obey our elders and especially to obey you. Father, we pray that you would please make us a blessing to the people around us. And we pray that as you send us out into this world and as we meet people, that we may share who you are and that we may share your love with others. Thank you once again for being our God. And we pray that you would be with all the children who are listening to this story. And we pray that you would please Help each one to give their hearts to you. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.